I have this weird thing about me that I get charged and super pissed when supernatural or spooky shit happens around me. I served in the military police corps with the army. Going to tell you guys a story, whether or not you believe it is up to you, but myself and five others know it's true in the scariest moment of our lives so far. In a Fort Polk, Los Angeles. Doing rotation in the boxes op 4 against 1st ID who were going down range. We're operating through the tick infested grass to rustle their jimmies at 2 am with our 240s and arty sims. We're deep in the wood now, moon is bright as fuck and we're moving at a fast speed. I call a halt because I hear whispering. It sounds like the whispers of faint voices, wispy and hollow like a pair of gunners have spotted us in the grass or something. However it's wrong feeling. My skin is buzzing and crawling uncomfortably and my hair on every part of my body is raised. Last time this happened I was with some folks in a haunted house and someone got smashed with a plate. Whispers quiet down, and I wanna get the fuck away from this spot as soon as possible. Platoon leader calls us up and we start fast footing through the woods and grass. Private clumsy fuck suddenly yells out and falls over some shit. I turn to look at him and gag with the rest of the guys. I pop a chem light, fuck me right? And an eerie green glow is cast over fucking bloody meat effigies. My body is at DEFCON 6 as I spin around absorbing what the fuck I'm standing in. 6 to 7 5 feet tall figures are lined up in a pattern, covered with rotting meat that's glistening green and white from my chem light and the moon. Speck next to me is freaking the fuck out because we only have blanks in our weapons and has taken off his 240B barrel to use as a club. People are freaking out and trying to clean off the private, I lean in with my light to check out this one figure who's taller than the rest and has more. Meat on it. As I'm looking those whispers are back getting uncomfortable retelling this wind picks up and little voices get louder harsher angrier it sounds like some kind of latinish language guttural and full of hate the other guys are getting super panicked swinging their weapons about and shrinking against each other back to back i turn to look at them and another private first class shrieks and i can see the color run from his face my energy suddenly flares so hard i could almost hear it in my ears and my blood is boiling just in the rage of having whatever it is around us. I snap my head around to see this piece of flesh slowly, sickeningly sliding down until I see through the green glow of my chem light that it's a fucking skull. I just fucking roar. My body told me this was a bad thing, and I needed to yell at it and show it I wasn't weak. I take a few steps back while roaring at my challenger and the guys behind me are shitting their pants. Wind is screaming throughout the trees now, and the grass is whipping around our legs, the voice is loud on the wind as if answering my challenge. That's when my body tells me to run, and I turn screaming run. Run now. Run run run. At the guys and they fall in with me at a dead sprint. Tree are moaning and roaring in the wind, and that's when I hear someone behind me shriek. It's behind us Jesus Christ it's coming for us. God help us I'm so sorry. And Hess crying as Hess running. I don't look. If I look I'll panic but I have four sims strapped to my fucking load-bearing vest. Throw the sims I yell, prepping one in my hands. Someone throws a smoke grenade in panic, the wind whipping purple smoke around us as if working against us. I throw a sim ahead of me, and it does its arty whistle as we run over it. The explosion is deafening. But the scream. The inhuman roar that followed. Nothing can compare to the unnatural fear that shot through me as it's screaming something so fierce and dark. Fucking five more sims go flying past me. And as we run it's like we are being chased by a rolling garage. We sprint. Propelled by a fear so ingrained it felt like madness. Two people are crying as they run. But no one has dropped their weapons or gear, just running. Running and being chased by whatever being of the pit was placed in those woods. We don't even notice it as first, the wind dying down, or the trees thinning. But we don't care. We just run. As fast as we can. Gear crashing loudly and our useless guns rattling in our hands. But we make the enemy base thing, and are greeted by enemy blank fire and sims, but we just scream open the gate. Turn on the fucking lights. Open the gate. We don't even wait for the gate to be opened, and we plow through the razor wire like madmen, and the private first class in his panic shoulder checks the gate, going straight through it and cutting himself to ribbons. We follow him through, all of us. We finally crash to the earth in a heap under a big light surrounded by confused infantry. We lay there and scream, and cry, and vomit, some have pissed and shit themselves, I myself turn back around, breathing so hard that I'm drooling and blood is running from my nose. I stare at the woods. I stare, at the little green light I can faintly see in the trees, and even more faintly the white bone of a skull grinning at me in the pale, 
tree filtered moonlight. I remember saying fuck you. Before I passed out and slapped my head on the rocks. We ran so hard that we tore our muscles apart. I got out in August at 100% med board for service related injuries. I don't like Halloween anymore, but I play vampire counts in Warhammer because. I don't know, I like that the skeletons are small and plastic. They don't. Move. Since then I've come to really like skeletons. But I still wake up in a sweat next to my wife, that fucking smell on my nose and if the wind howls just right. I can almost feel it staring at me. Keep in mind gentlemen when I yelled out things like the sims or something. I wasn't yelling like a hard ass or operator. I screamed in fear, in desperation. I cannot begin to describe the kind of terror the situation put us in. He said it was following us, and by god I could feel it, and I wanted to slow it down. I screamed, in a fucking panic, to throw the sims. If you are going to copy pasta this be sure to include this. I don't know what was binded to that thing, but it was a horrible, awful, dark presence, and I've stared down ghosts and shit before with little problem, and I was struggling to hold my bowels as I ran in primal terror. I don't go in the woods alone. Ever. Without bullets. Sorry dude but I didn't quite understand. They were living skeletons or what? Nobody went to check after this? Entire squad comes in crying like children and no fucking one send a squad to investigate? This is smelly. The reports read that we were chased by boars, which are like squirrels at Fort Polk, however due to our aloof and impractical stories they never investigated and simply labeled that part of the woods as a no-go zone due to wild animals. As for, whatever it was, no it was not a skeleton, but like a thorny, rotting wicker man with a skull for a head. I think it was some of the local voodoo shit that they practiced because they hate the fact soldiers are on land they once owned. Big hoopla about that post kicking off farmers back in the 20s and 30s. Reminds me of another creepy pasta on here of some soldiers that got lost running land nave out in some forest and were being followed by some spooky shit. Shit got real when they came across a drip wire to a heavy artillery shell set up across a deer path and then bumped into a squad of special forces guys gillied up in a field in full combat kit with live ammo who were obviously hunting something. My face when here branch snap in a woods now. I spoke to a few of the special forces guys who were drinking at the bowling alley bar and they were super keen on what I was saying. Word was getting around because the private who shit himself was going hysterical and got sent into protective suicide watch because he kept screaming that the skull was watching him. Special forces guy was picking up meds when he heard him screaming and biak. He said they've had some spoopy shit happen and alluded to an occult-like branch of the special forces. Probably Pascho.